how to solve log equations. This video tutorial can be found on our webpage mathwarehouse.com slash log equations where you can find other practice problems as well as a free 25 question worksheet with an answer key. Okay, the goal of this tutorial is to be able to answer questions like the one you see on the screen here. And before we try to tackle a problem like this logarithmic equation, Let's take a step backwards and make sure we um, understand some basics here. For instance, if I have log base 2 of 8, for instance, and I know that that equals log base 2 of x. And what I want to find is this variable x, the value of this variable. By common sense, you probably immediately see that obviously x must equal 8. There's only one solution possible. There's no ambiguity here. X must equal 8. And in general, today, when we have a larger equation like the one here, initially on the screen, our goal will be to have um, two log expressions, one on the left and one on the right. And then we'll be in the same situation we were in this easy uh, top example here. Once we have log base 2 of 8 equals log base 2 of X, we know X equals 8. There's no other option. So let's look at a slightly more, let's, let's make it something a little more complicated before we try a, um, the problem below. Let's say that we know that log base 2 of 8 equals log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of x. Our goal, if you remember what we did earlier, is to have two log expressions so that we know, and I'll put the base 2 there, so that we're in the same situation we were up here where we know that this box equals that box. And what we can do is use some properties that you're already aware of. We can say that log base 2 of 4x, if you remember the properties of logarithms, equals log base 2 of 8. And in other words, we put an 8 here and a 4x here, and you get 8 equals 4x, and x equals 2. So just to reiterate, our goal in general is going to be to get something that looks like log slide sideways here. Equals log whatever has whatever. And we know that what's in this box must equal what's in that box, regardless of the base of the log, whether the base is log base 3 or the base is log base 13. We know the boxes will have to be the same, much like our first example. I also want to take a moment to point out something that we could not do and that students sometimes want to do. And in fact, let me put that on a blank page here. Okay, just going back to our, our initial, the, the prior problem, I want to point out something you do not want to do, but many students are tempted to do. Many students think, oh, I've got log 2, log 2, log 2, and they just immediately cancel this out. Compare that verse to what we did, which is we use the log product property to say that we had 4x. Okay, this is what we did and it worked. The question, of course, is can we just cancel all the logs when we have a larger expression here? Um, and let's see, now if we solve the equation as is, you get 8 equals 4 plus x, and x equals 4. Notice that is a different answer f to what we got here when x equals 2. So since this is the right answer and this preserves the log, I mean as you notice here, here we use the log um, product property, um, you cannot just cancel logs like this. You can if you get into a situation where you've got log of any base, base 3 for instance, equals some log of the other base, you, you know that if this is x and this is 17, x must equal 17. There is no other option. So all that I want to point out is you must first get 
to a place where you've got one log on this side, one log on that side, before you can remove them, before you can remove the logs. Okay, let's try this problem and keep what I just said in mind. Remember, our goal, what we want to achieve is we want something that looks like log of something equals the log of something else. Once we get there, we can get rid of the logs. So let's try to use the first step in general is to try to combine your logarithmic expressions using the properties of logs. So let's first take this two up using the the reverse, of the, the reverse of the power rule of logs. And since this is plus, we can then use the product rule to rewrite the left side as this. That should be 18 equals log 18. And 3 squared is 9, so we can write log of 9x equals log of 18. And we now are, this is what we wanted. We can now get rid of these, and we know that 9x equals 18, and x equals 2. So just, these are the steps that this will always break down to. Step 1 is to combine the left side into one logarithmic expression. And the same on the right. If you need to combine the right side, um, get it to be one logarithmic expression. Once you have once you're in the situation of log of something equals log of something else, you can get rid of the logs and just solve an algebraic, um, algebra one equation. All right, this next problem is very similar to our prior one. We're in log base five this time. And remember, goal is log of blah, blah, blah equals the log of some other blah, blah, blah. Then we can just solve the blah, blah, blahs. In other words, set the rectangles equal to each other. So again, step one, we are looking to consolidate the left and the right sides into a single term. The right side already is one term, log base 5 of 3. And here, which is almost identical to the last problem, we're going to rewrite this as 3 squared because you can use the power rule plus log base 5 of x equals log base 5 of 3. And we can rewrite this as log base 5 of 9x because 3 squared is 9 and then the plus turns into multiplication and log base 5 of 3 so we now know this is our 9x and this is our 3 so we can set these equal to each other and divide both sides by 9 to get that x equals 1 third okay this problem starts out similar to the last one but um, it's a little different at the end First off, we want to consolidate left and right sides into, as you know, the log of something. And here, we're, to do that, we're going to have to use the um, power rule in reverse. And here, we're going to have to use the product rule. And now we're in that situation. We can say x squared equals 2x, and just bring it you know, subtract 2x from both sides here, and we have x squared minus 2x equals 0. And you can factor this into x times x minus 2 equals 0, so x equals 0 or 2. 